I start off with a theme and I stay on that theme. So even though the, around that theme there might be added stuff, you're going to stay on that theme so you actually understand it. So it's not like I'm going to give you, here's another technique, here's another technique, here's another technique, because that's, that doesn't work. No, everybody walks out with nothing, you know. So I kind of teach in a progression even in my seminars, you know. So I'm going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with what's called who bud. Um, anybody ever do that before here? Uh, just raise your hand, please. I just want to see. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. We got some that did it. Okay. Uh, Chi Sao, raise your hand. Okay. Well, that's good. This is going to um, help you trapping in your Chi Sao, in your fighting in general, um, in your Wing Chun, and, and of course, if you've done Hu Bud, uh, it's going to help you there. Um, I, it's, it's called, actually, He Got Hu Bud and Lu Bud. That's the full Tagalog term, which is basically um, means to tie, untie, and blend. Now, there's other terminology in the Pekit Tertia system, means to gong the bowl. That's, uh, that's another term, which basically means around the same thing. And uh, what I'm going to do is, you're going to learn the, basically the same old shit that you see in every single video. Everybody stands there and they, they, they teach Huba. But it's going to be beyond that. It's going to be a little bit more. Um, I'm going to show you the footwork, everything that goes with it, because uh, one thing that really, Chris, if I can use you here, one thing that really gets me mad uh, is when people do the huba and they do this. You know what I mean? Imagine if he blasted a shot right through. See what happens there? Now, say we're doing the same thing now, and on, on this side, he blasts a shot right through, and you can see, you know, I could do something else here very easily, okay, because I sent him off his balance by movement, which that's important. Advanced, like say, if I go like this here, and, and then what I do is I go to the outside, like, can you get to you? No? <laughs> and when I go to the outside, go to the outside now, go outside, good. And you can see what I do is when I step, I'm going over this way. And you can see how this sets me up for something by going to the outside there. See what's happening? Um, now, if I come into, yeah, go inside again, okay, so. Oh, no, okay, I'm sorry, yeah, got it, got it, I'm sorry, it was mine this side, here, okay, we switched, okay, we're going inside, okay, now, what I do is I could also go inside, get here, and then, yes, now, what happens is I don't want to stay inside necessarily, right, so what happens is I may want to go outside, but say if I do go inside and I do a hit like this, I'm going to come in and do something else here because I don't want to get hit by the other hand. That's like just look at the other punch. See? <laughs> can I move you guys a little bit closer to okay. me, if you don't mind, just okay, so no I can chase you a little bit. This is good though. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> you never did Hubud, you're lost right now. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is, I'm just giving you examples of how what you're going to uh, kind of learn to, uh, right now. The other thing is, um, I'll say, uh, let's go uh, uh, chi sao for a second, okay. So, I convert into chi sao here right now. Say, for example, you guys all saw the Jopa Jiao sao, right? Um, just coming in, uh, say, I go to hit, he juts out here, and I jiao sao and I hit, and then you come in here, okay. So, now the same thing with the hu bud. Say, if I wanted to do something like that, this teaches me, see how I get that shot right off. See what's going on? Basically the same principle. So you're all you're gonna be learning something, you're gonna go, oh yeah, I already know that. Basically. Okay. For those of you who haven't seen any of it, it's gonna be a learning process, of course, you know. <laughs> but this teaches you how to fight inside. You don't want to be going like this and moving out here and hoping for the best. You know, you see that in the UFC, you see the kids, the street kids, uh, they fight like that. They hit, and you know they're they're like this, and they hit, and they, you know they do stupid stuff like that. So uh, what you want to do is you're you're gonna learn how to enter and stay there, okay? This the what I call this is what I call standard right here, see? Because I what I call it's finger jab, lift, jab, strike, and then um, guy keep going. See how I do this? Now if it's a weapon, notice I come up like this. See what's going on? I hold it here. This is where you get your, your good position here, okay? And the other one was outside here. See how 
we go outside, preferably, right? Now, the other one is basically inside. Here, see? That's inside. And then the change just goes like that. Okay, so if I want to change on this side, say, well, we didn't change, but that's okay. Hey, see what's going on here? See? And everything is within it, too, like, say, uh, if I do, like, the lops out. That's in Kali. That's in Kuntal. That's in Sila. It's in every single style. They're all the same but different. I know that sounds contradictory, but there are only so many ways to kill people <laughs> or maim them or take them down and not hurt them if you're a Buddhist. You know, I've done various different systems, uh, and I noticed they all do the same thing. They want to mobilize the hands, the legs, so they can do something. You know, um, Alex, I'm going to use you on this, the thing on your back, and you won't let me in your guard. Like, I just want to show you something. This is something I came up with one time, and I thought it was pretty cool. But, you know, you're on your back, and the fighter wants to get in there. And, you know, if I reach up, he can kick me in the face here, right? So... I'm, I'm working my way around here, and I go like this. That was basically a blood. And look where I am now. I can go to like a see, or whatever I choose to do. That's one of the methods that I use. Maybe, you know, depends on the situation. I got others too, but <laughs> entering is the hard part. We all can kick, punch, finger jab, grab the eyes, grab the hair, kick the groin. He could also reach you, that's the problem. So I go like this, hold on, uh, he can reach me too. That's the problem. And if your arms are shorter, it's more of a problem, you see? What I'm going to do is I'm going to have you do it. Uh, um, I'm, I'm, we're all going to do it together. It's the only way to do it. And I'm just going to show you again. So what I say is finger jab, lift, check, and strike. Now what he does, he finger jabs. Lift, check, strike. And I finger jab, I lift, check, strike. Notice what I did. Say this arm is made of iron. And he's a statue. I can't move it, right? But, see, I can move myself. That's the idea. If he decided to throw a cross here, I'm all set here, and I could do things. See what's going on? Okay, whatever appears. So this is the idea of what we're going to uh, get into. It's all hand immobilization. You're going to enter with hand immobilization. If he does this macho stuff like this, just finger jab. Just punch him in the throat, kick him in the groin, break his leg, whatever, right? Stab him. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you uh, these movements, and then what I'm going to show you is how to functionalize it in actual attacks. This is what I see people don't do. A lot of people. I mean, I, mean, I learned it, so I mean, you know, uh, people do uh, know it, but uh, I'm going to make sure you guys know it anyway. Okay, so why don't we grab a partner, and we'll take it from there. I did it this Look what I'm doing here. So I'm like this. See what's going on here? So say he throws a strike at me, look what I'm doing right there. See, I did that triangle. I got the hell out of there. That's going to give uh, me opportunity to attack. I put him on my center line. I got off his center line, and it makes it harder for him to punch. I mean, if he's got real long arms, maybe he'll punch me that way, but, you know, uh, how much power do you actually have? You know? <laughs> so, you know, that, that's the thing. This is developed... Uh, most everything you see, especially if you're learning an ancient style, not so much like the karate styles or anything like that, but if you're learning like an ancient style that wasn't modernized, they were all weapon-based. The whole idea is to not evade a punch and a kick. It was uh, to evade somebody going to stab you in your throat. See, that's the idea. So you want to avoid that. Mm, sounds good, right? <laughs> so um, that's why you're getting out of the way. So what you're doing is you're finger jabbing on this side, lift, check, strike on this side. Now, he should be moving to the inside and then to the outside. And then you finger jab, lift, check, strike. Finger jab, lift, check, strike. See what's going on? Does, it look, does that make it easier and more understandable? Okay. Got to run it. Everything is motion, you know? And the more footwork you have, the better. Think about it. Like, uh, if anybody's been in the military, you know, they say you run out of bullets and you have to run, run zigzag, right? So that, that makes sense, right? It's a moving target. You go to at a carnival, you go to hit the ducks and they're moving. It's a little harder to hit than if you're standing still. See? <laughs> so, you know, even a different example. See? Okay. Try it out. Go ahead. You don't 
want to finger jab and go like this. See what's going on? Now my strike isn't there. It's very neutral. Okay, so when he comes in with a strike, say for example, I just go here. Notice there's no force on the arm at all. See what's going on? This way, whatever he does, I can respond to it and then come down and do something here. See what's going on? Another thing is, I don't want to hit anything like this. Okay, if I hit your arm here, how you respond? See what's going on? Now, hand mobilization should always done, be done inside. I'm pushing it to his body. You can see the various different shots, whatever I feel. See what's going on? So everything should be neutral. So if you feel any kind of uh, push against my arm, yeah, like that, you don't, you, you got to say, oh, I'm using muscles that don't belong in there. Okay? Try that. Uh, do we have a training knife on him or anything? What? Plastic. Uh, right, don't worry about it. He's going to use his finger, okay? So what happens here is if I go like this, look at the knife slash across my stomach. See what's going on right there? Watch again. So if I go like this, See? Now, watch the knife slash across my stomach. See what's going on? I got leverage advantage. Why? I'm on center, he's off center, and I could do what I want. I could stab here, here, or hit, right? Right beyond, whatever. See what's going on? So I have advantage by doing the arm up, uh, holding the arm up. So what happens now, say for example, if I do, you, oh, I'm gonna do it the other way, okay, go, keep going. Okay, if I do this, what did I do? Pushed it into him. See? What happens is during the play, you might feel the, the move there. Yeah. See? So you kind of, you're, you're going to respond, and that's what teaches the student how to respond properly because you don't want to hit downward. Up is a different story. This right here, if I'm over here, you can see what happens to his body here. See? You learned high block in uh, karate, right? Well, watch this. Oh, oh, oh. You know? <laughs> see? So, and that's, that's what you would use that for. See, it's not really a block, so. <laughs> okay, so you don't want to hit downward. Remember I said, this is your center line. No matter where I go, this is my center line, right? Where do I want to push? Where that arrow was pointing. See what's happening? Okay, any questions on that? Yes. What? I've seen you in, if you, if you go through it, I'll, I'll say stop. Okay. Do it Right there. Okay, see your hands here? You got thumb up, where other times I've seen you have your thumb down. No, I always did this way. No, no. Yes. It's not even comfortable doing this unless I do this. Yes. If I'm going to pop and true, right? yes, yes, or slap, whatever word you want to use. See, I want, uh, I, I want to uh, hit towards the target. Mm -hmm. This makes the track much easier for me. But that's not your preference. You prefer underhand. If you can, yeah, so if you can call it out, you go under. Blade oriented. So even my my Jeet Kune Do, I'm, in my mind, I'm blade oriented. Those boxing gloves or MMA gloves are, are knives to me. And I don't want to get hit. Plus, I'm a wench. <laughs> See? Okay? So you always want to make sure that you hit inward. You know? Now, say if I did, if he has a weapon here, I would have to, you know, right away respond accordingly so I could disarm. See? So I don't want to, I don't want to get caught, you know, and that's what I think of. I'm telling you the truth, I don't want to get punched either. You know? Okay, we're going to do the outside now, which is very simple. So all you're doing is going like this, shield, Strike. So slap, shield, strike. Okay? The shield, some, some C lot systems, you'll even see that. You know? See what's going on? That, just that. But we have the, the slap, shield. You can see the various different strikes there. See what's going on? Now, Kung Tao doesn't do that. Kung Tao just you know, comes in like this, right? So every style does it different. But like I said, they're all different, but the same. See? <laughs> it's the same principle. Uh, long pak from uh, Jeet Kune Do, or even in, I, I don't know if you call it long pak. Swing chun, side pak. Yeah, yeah, so it's the same thing. you guide it. Guiding hand, if I'm not mistaken, that means. I'm, I could be wrong, but okay, see what's going on. But notice again, watch this. Look what I, I did, I set. That gets me in a good position to do any kind of structure here that I want to accomplish. Or body tackle to get inside suplex, you know, uh, whatever throw, you know, you can see it right there. So it puts me in a very good position, which is the objective in any fight. You know, you think of, you do grappling, what's the first thing you want to do? You want to get on his back. Not the first thing, but one of the goals is to get on his back, right? So stand-up is the same thing. You're looking to go to his back, we'll say. Yeah, of course, if I'm fighting here and I'm going to the outside, he's going to follow me. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? But say, for example, if I come in here, this makes it easier for me to get to the back. 
See what's going on with a few strikes on along the way, of course, you know. So this is, uh, you're, you're, we'll do it real slow. I'm sorry, this is uh, slap, shield, check strike. I'm sorry. <laughs> slap, shield, check strike. This is the so outside. Slap, outside. shield, check, strike. Now he slaps shield, check, and strike. See what's going on? Do it real slow. Check and strike. See what's going on? So, excuse me. I already slapped. I shield here. See what's going on? Check and strike. See how I move back and forth. We don't have to go into a circle. So I'm moving here. See what's going on? Sometimes I might want to go more like this. Depends on the situation, right? But right now we'll just take one form of the footwork. See how this goes? See, it looks like push hands or something, right? Yeah. You know, but this is one of your movements that you're, you know, that will get you to a better area if you didn't know this type of thing. If you just follow my motion here. So he slap, shield, check, and strike. All on the outside of the arm. See what's going on? So I slap, I shield, I check. See what's going on? I have a question mark. It's the same as this. Hold on one second. It's the same as this, but what I'm doing is I'm coming over here this time. I'm staying on the outside. See what's going on here? I'm getting out of the line of his uh, leg shoes, uh, his body tackles, his kicks, his punch, his headbutts, his knife. See, that's the whole idea is to avoid getting strike, uh, getting, getting hit and just being able to put yourself in a good position. Okay, same thing, right? So it should be easy. Remember I told you? It's going to be very easy. <laughs> okay, try it out. Go ahead. This and have the elbow up above. If you end up there, you better respond quick, okay? <laughs> so you don't want your hand above the elbow. The whole idea is hand mobilization attack, right? So when he comes in here, look how I, I, I immobilize him alone. Now, the tactic being, I, I got my body close, okay? Part of the immobilization, hand immobilization, excuse me. I move, I move all in one step, that would be one step. I, I'm exaggerating a little bit here, but look how already I'm in such a good position here. See what's going on? So that's what the footwork does to you, does for you. And uh, a lot of people, uh, I notice when they're doing all this stuff and they're coming in and they're doing their thing, punch, look what I, what did I do wrong? He missed it. <laughs> I was like six inches away from his face. I want to move in and I want to hit. Like I said, I see so much, so many flaws. Uh, Filipino martial arts, when that starts getting watered down, I, I, I shake my head and I put my hands in my face. I go, no, <laughs> you know, you got to move in and you got to uh, be at least in range. So when I, when I strike right here, hold on, look, look, okay, when I do this, you should be able to go through his head, okay? If I'm over here, he doesn't even have to block. <laughs> he doesn't have to do anything, see? So what you want to do is you want to move in and if you get hit, what happens? You learn from it, right? So, you know, do it. <laughs> Don't get hit. That's why you're learning this science, see? Okay? You never want to come up. That's why I get a kick out of this stuff, and they're, they're, you know, they're a foot away. And I'm like, really? You know, and then the guy does real fast movements. You know, you never want to do things at such a distance where it's unrealistic. Okay? All right, man, try it out. Entering. That's the hard part. We could sit here all day long and try different tactics and trying to get in and, you know, trying to hit each other. Okay, I'm going to be moving a little bit weird because uh, I, I, I tore a muscle in the, in the glute a little bit and it's, it's affecting my back and it's starting to hurt now a little bit. So I might be sitting down here and there. Don't think I'm lazy, okay? <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, I'm going to teach you offense and then counter offense. Okay? So it's, it's, it's both the same thing. Say so he just has his hands up. Okay, and you know you're going to get into a fight. So all I do is go like this. I'm just going to have you get that far. Look how I'm right on top of them. What did I do? See what's going on? So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in. See what's going on? You can see anything you want. Works right there. See? So you're in a good position. Okay? So what you want to do is in slow motion. I'm covered here. Okay? See how that goes right in there? Finger jab, palm, finger jab here, 
if you want to do your uh, punching, uh, I recommend vertical fist. In ancient times, they, they, they use vertical fist if they're going to hit the face. This, and you can potentially break your hand. Okay, so you want to get in, and then we'll go into things off of this. So what I want you to do is slowly at first, you're going to enter and say you move around a bit, and you know now you're going to be here. See what I'm doing there? So the movement basically is a ah, see. I can do anything I want. Here. See? Okay. What do you think? That was Kuntal teaching the colleague method. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to stay. I noticed position. his elbow was high up when you went to parry through, so you just swept it. And, yes. And continued. And you're you're entering with a hand immobilization technique. See what's going on? That's all that is. Right away. Yes. I mean, can you counter that? Yes, of course. If I go to do this and uh, now we do a foot jab, say for example. See? Okay. So that could be, you know, it's you know anything can be countered if you telegraph it, you know. So you don't want to telegraph that, you know. Say if I'm if I'm playing here, and ah, I go right in. See what's happening? So that should be pretty simple. All right. That's one of the best movements uh, that I've seen. Could you do just the footwork a couple times, okay. just to so, get like a walkthrough pace? Boom, two hit, clear see, that. I'm, I'm gonna shield properly. I get lazy with my shield sometimes, but you see. I really want to get my shield properly. I'm in a good position right here. Any type of takedown that I want to do, I want to go into jujitsu, suplex, uh, one of the sweeps, this way or this way. See, I could break the arm, you know, when I enter, maybe, you know, or I could just take down this, you know. So there's a lot of different things that you could pull off. It doesn't matter. One of them's got to work, okay? And of course, there's sensitivity for that to figure out which move you're going to follow up from you respond like an echo to his motion, see? That's the idea. So you just want to move in, and he can see you right here. That's all I want you to do, no follow-ups or anything, okay? What do you think? Looks easy, right? That's how you would bridge. The move uh, for you guys that got to the Bill G form, right? Look familiar? You know? <laughs> kind of? See what's going on? Look. See? If you got that far, you know, you, you have the similar motion. The translation is right in this movement. All the same but different, see? <laughs> what do you think? Okay, All let's right. try it out. Thank you. This is, uh, say for example, um, if you guys uh, do, do, do the Wing Chun, you see when he throws a jab, right? I finger jab, okay? You already know that, okay? That's, that's part of it, right? And you can come in again and do whatever you uh, now, right? But the idea, now you're gonna defend uh, a jab, okay? You can do defend the cross the same way. It doesn't matter. The idea so he doesn't jab cross is to uh, immobilize the hand. So if I'm moving around and he throws the jab, look where I am. He doesn't even have a chance. See what's going on right there? Doesn't even have a chance to get the, the cross off. <coughs> See? So now in slow motion, all I'm doing is I'm going like this. See? And I'm right in a good position. Is it going to work 100% of the time? Depends on what the other guy does. Or if he incidentally just moves out of the way or whatever, you know? But if he's committed to a punch, and nobody does a punch like this, neutral, if I want to take his head off, I'm gonna come in and, you know, really lob it in and try to, you know, either, you know, take his head off or knock him out, or, you know, if they want to kill you, whatever the situation is, right? So, you know, don't forget in a, um, a quote unquote dojo or kum, whatever you want to call it, uh, situation, you are, uh, you're in, you, you, we tend to be nice to each other, you know, which is common. That mentality is good in the class because we're not training for war, we're training because we're all interested in martial arts, you know, for the most part. When you get down to sparring and stuff like that, that's when you, you know, you, you, you turn it up a few notches. And even there, it's like, you know, unless you're fighting in MMA or in the street, it's, you know, you're not turning it up that much. But you want to get that mentality, get your, uh, you know, think about it, get your adrenaline up a little bit, and as soon as he throws, ah, you want to get right in there. See what I'm doing? Okay, so again, you don't do this. What did I do wrong? Block. Yeah, you don't block, you deflect. If my hand is here, it throws a jab, throw a jab, come nice and hard. Look, it, it's hard to get in on that, because why? The angle, see? It doesn't matter what kind of punch is thrown in. It could be some sort of uh, 
turtle style kung fu or whatever they do, right? It could be like, the turtle hand move. <laughs> so they got three fingers. He's trying to figure that out. <laughs> it's really, it's really but slow. It could be some sort of Krang's Greek. It could be some sort of tiger claw. They all gotta come down here to hit you right here. Okay, no matter what kind of style it is, Shaolin long fist or whatever. Okay, they have to come in like that, unless they're throwing either a bolo shot or a hook punch, you know, a tighter one, I'm saying, you know? So that's different, you know? Like I said, we're not gonna cover everything. So here's what we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do is just gonna kind of move around, and as soon as he throws it in there, look, he cannot get off that cross. First get this, and then try to throw the cross at the person. Do it upon him so you don't flatten anybody's nose. Uh, even if I throw the jab and I, I, I come back, it's not going to matter. So if I'm here and I'm trying to hit him with that jab, yeah, no, 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 yes, yes. So if I, if I come in, it still works. Notice I didn't hold my hand out there. See, I actually came back with it like most people do. You'll never see anybody pose unless they did a knockout and they got a good knockout and somebody's there with their, with their uh, phone, you know. <laughs> but I even I doubt that. They're always thinking of that. So you don't want to leave your hand out there. It's still going to work. Okay? Any questions on that? Okay, we'll try. No, that's good. Okay, Chris, I'm going to show you something here. So what happens here is now, what I do is say, for example, I come in here and I go here. See what's going on? I'm going to follow up like this. Okay, see what I'm doing here. See? Um, so I'm going to do initial, one initial takedown on each one. So what happens here is I came in here, I hit. Now, I'm going to slow over doing slow motion. To do this lock, all you do is point your knee down. Okay? There's a whole sequence of locks on this, and I'm, uh, I'm not going to go over that right now. Uh, but we do it from this side. So all I'm doing is I'm going to hit here, and I come in here. See how that works? See? So, how I got there? I'm on this side, right? Look where my leg is, like Tai Tosh. See? I follow him down, hook the arm, go in and do that. <coughs> See what's happening? <laughs> that rips the shoulder. One more time on this side, so you get different views. I hit. Of course, now it's going to make it hard for him to move because I hit him. Even if he just flinched and I just hit his forehead, say, for example. Okay? But off the hit, I hook. Look where I am. See? That's where the momentum of this throw comes from. See? It's a half turn? Uh, half turn. Forward or backward half turn, right? Yeah. So I take him down. Okay? I hook the arm. I'm like this. Sometimes in Filipino martial arts, they grab this around, like this. See, I take this knee, point it towards his belly button. That's how, you don't want to use arm strength when you do this, because he might be strong. Look at that, you know, see? But if I go like that, it makes a big difference. Take his eye, take your knife out, cut his throat, see? Jab it right through his uh, temple, okay? Make sure you do that. <laughs> That's a worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, yes, you know? Take his teeth while I you're at it. Legally, you're not supposed to do that. I'm teaching you an ancient style when they did do that, you know? So, uh, you know, you're supposed to use as much force that's used against you legally, okay? So you, you don't want to be doing all this stuff. I know I joke about it and all that, but you have to understand common sense when you're doing self-defense because they will tear you up in court, <laughs> okay? So again, all I'm doing is if I'm moving around here, right, and he throws that punch, I'm in here, and I go, oh. Stay where I am, okay? What do you think? So, Ron, are we doing this just the entry or off of the strike? Just from the entry. Uh, from the entry or off the strike. Either one. How's that? Okay. So, I would practice both if he's just holding his hands up and you know things are going to come down, right? He would just come in. See? You might want to practice that a little bit. Watch. Anybody do judo? Okay, you know Tai Tosh? Very similar. See the position? Except, you know, obviously, Tai Tosh, you know? You're going to be right. taking it this way, see? But I'm doing it from the rear. So it's very similar, but the approach is different, see? What do you think? Looks good.
So when you're turning, uh, you you start with the forearm right on their uh, on their neck. Yes, their neck, because the momentum then, is coming from the turn. And then right when you turn, it they basically line up yes. chin to elbow. Yes, uh, yes. This is Duma. So I'm going from Pangamot Duma. They say in Pangamot there is no Pangamot without Duma, and there is no Duma without Pangamot. Pangamot no pa, uh, Pang means uh, use of them. Kamut is uh, hands. Again, if, if we come over here, okay. So all I'm doing is I'm coming in here. And there's your movement. See? That's the initial throw. Look where my leg is. See? Got plenty of stuff if there's failure. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay? What do you think? Good. Try it out. I, I see a lot of people ending up here. Now look where my hand is. See how it's behind his elbow a little bit? Okay? What I'm going to do here is I just put my hip forward. See how easy and tight that is, man? See? All I do is put like this. If his arm is bent, I just go here. I always grab the leg. When I do it. You push the knee you know? forward? Yes, I push the knee into his belly button. Okay. See? So. And I, I learn, you know what you do? You use your whole body if you notice. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to use my arm strength. And I always say, like, you know, if you're on the beach, a nice looking girl walks by and you're. Yes. <laughs> you neck and you can't, right? too much. you can't go like this, so you have to use your whole body. Incidentally, he's arm locked. <laughs> <laughs> For lack of a better description. I go here, look. Mm. See what's going on right there? Doing a slow motion yeah, movement difficult. The head. So I captured as he's going down. This shot, this is a shot. I'm literally gonna take his face and do this. Okay, so when I take his face, I'm gonna follow right into place. Mm. I like to put my, my hand on my knee, like I said. And then you go here. <laughs> see what's going on? So in faster motion, you can see how I, I come in here and I go like this, I capture. See what's going on? And I didn't slap the head that time, but. You get the idea. Same. Could you do it again, but now facing the opposite way, just so I can okay. see the other angle? Uh, just switch sides of the room. So just on your, your left leg. That's good. He likes being taken down. I don't know. He doesn't want anybody to do it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm here, and I go. I capture the arm. See how I'm lifting? I'm trying mm. to stay up as I do it. Now this. Ah, you throw him slam. under your leg. Slam. Oh, okay. <laughs> see? And then I got the move. Or if the arm is straight, you go like that. That's all it is. Mm. Basic arm bar. Like motion, see? Okay, sound good? Got it. Okay, try. I'm looking for the part where like, you like grab them by their neck like with the arm, like you like swing, take one arm and <laughs> oh, The initial entry. Okay, so what I'm doing is, okay, let me, let me strike first. Because this is gonna be a strike of some sort. And then you step back. Like a clothesline throw. Yes. It looks like kind of, like I said, a uh, head throw from judo. Um, tight toes look in leg position. Um, Can't open her, bottle opener. With momentum. Why am I able to get there? Pain compliance. Now, say for example, I just hit him in the face, you know, and he just went like that. It gives me that split second. So when I'm doing this type of thing, I'm here and I'm going like this. See? I capture and then go here. So, off the check here, you're shooting back in or is it yes. one shot? Yes, all, all one shot. This one, two, three, four. Is all one shot. I mean, literally, because you're coming in and you're going, nah, nah. see? Here, slam the head. And then you go like that. See? <laughs> what do you think? So, watch my motion. I'm here. Now, to add to that, I come in, grab the arm, slam that head, and then come in. Pain compliance and leverage compliance is hard to deal with. The game changes in uh, grappling, especially in Dumag. Catch wrestling has a lot of similarities, you know. <laughs> it's kind of cool how people can't resist when you add that pain. Leverage is cool, and we practice a lot of grappling styles too, but to add the pain makes it work, <coughs> you know. <laughs> okay, try it out. Say, for example, he resists here. He resisted in that direction. He resisted. He gave me that. Gift wrap. What a card. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, curse Ray. <laughs> I just want you guys to do this, okay? From here, you're going to take the arm. This was from, originally I learned this from Paul Vunak, okay? And then what happened is, uh, you know, of course, uh, Guru Dan and uh, Guru Larry uh, Hartzell, uh, my, one of my uh, uh, closest teachers, he used to do this, but this is also in Kung Tao, okay? So look what I do. I grab this bicep here, right? I step. Look at my hip. 
<laughs> you know why? I lift a lot of weights. Notice I step in towards the back. Anybody know why? There's no point for the triangle. I step in here. What would you do? See? <laughs> what do we do? We avoid the weapon. Always. See? What's going on? So I go here, and I just throw. You can throw him down. You can throw him into a car. So what I'm doing is I sometimes, what I do is I come in here, and I go like this and break it. See what's going on there? Okay? So we're just going to take it from there. We're just going to do this much. Okay? Look what I'm doing. I push at a 45 degree angle. What happens is, a 45, this is more of Kuntel, but I'm going to show you something. The 45 degree angle, you ever see these Tai Chi guys that can toss somebody across the room and everything? It's simple principles of the 45 degree angle. Hip motion, body motion. So what I do is I come up here. See? Notice what I did there. I used absolutely no strength at all on it. You know? So it, it's, it's pretty cool how that works. So they're all the same, but different. <laughs> so all you're going to do is you're going to be here. Notice I swap. Put my hip forward and lift simultaneously. If you want to try to toss them down, you can do that too. So when you do this and you come up, look. See what's going on? That gives you a chance to draw your sword. See what's going on? That's one of the reasons that exists in Duma. All blade-oriented styles had some sort of grappling. Uh, the clinch, why there's Duma and other uh, styles that have their grappling, is uh, you, 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 well, we'll say empty hand in general. What happened is you either uh, lost your weapon, have to use empty hand, or you have to get to your weapon. Your weapon is over there. I'm being attacked. You have to have good empty hand skills. There's the reason why uh, empty hand and Kali and Kung Tao are so damn dangerous. I wouldn't do I wouldn't go above the knee with that kick. You know? It's not oblique. Oblique is different. This is oblique kick. Okay, if you ever heard that term. So if I come in here, this is the, your oblique kick, and then you go into something here. See? So that's not... I blend it there, but you know, you get the idea. Okay? So... So once you throw them away, you look for a kick. Yes. Right away. And that's probably the most direct kick. Okay? See what's going on? Sometimes, I mean, uh, say, if... If I do this and I come up here, look. See, that's on your uh, Panajatna. So what I did is I did a scoop kick to this. And look, you know, and I got it. See, completely. See what's going on? So that's, that's the reason why, you know, you use those type of kicks. You know, a little bit of pain compliance and leverage compliance together. It's, you know, it's hard to stop. A lot of times this is done off your hula, right? So I come in here and I step in, right? Mm. Okay, so what happens now is... I come in, we're doing all this, I go do this, and he resists. Notice I step over here, okay? So watch again. Okay, we're here, okay, we, we get into this. I come into here, and what I do is, when I, I go like this, he resists. Huh. Look at the headbutt right there. See what's going on? <laughs> so you're right in a good position. So when they resist this, ah, hit, look, now, Branch up. Oh. Ah, that to me. See? Now say I go to pull, he resists. Oh, he gave that to me. See what's going on? Okay, see how they work? You know? <laughs> it's, it's like going against the floor. I always say, this is how sometimes I describe things. Say we push each other's palm, but he's considerably stronger than me. Why should I resist? You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not going to resist this stuff. You know? I'm right here. You know? He complains a lot. <laughs> so you go with the force. That's the idea of all your different grappling systems. Be it Chin Na or, you know, uh, uh, Sambo or Jiu Jitsu, Judo, whatever. You know, you're going with the force. That's the uh, principle uh, that you want to cap uh, capture. Sometimes it doesn't, especially big guys tend to use a lot of strength, you know, right away. And when I, when I, when I get them to uh, start using sensitivity, feeling, and all of a sudden they, they, they get it. They feel the move and they see it. Well, you're a good example. At his age, at 21, he's got that, you know, and he's using it in the ring. If you guys see in his fights, you know. So I kind of, I, I feel that's important to understand, you know, as uh, as feeling the alternative move. Mm -hmm. um, I have this quote I always say: No move is good without its alternative move. You know, you have to know an alternative to follow up on. You can know a thousand moves if you don't have a follow up move for each of those thousand moves. What if it fails? You know, that's the thing. So no pattern. So again, it's real simple. All I'm doing is, I whoop, see, I'm right there. That's all it is. 
Notice I, I hit with the top of my head, okay? I don't want to go, say, I don't want to go like this because, say, he bluntly bunt, he ducks his head and I do this. I, you know, I, the headbutt turned into making me a butthead, you know? No. <laughs> see? So you don't want to do that. You want to hit with the top of your head. So when I'm here, ah! See what's going on? Then you're foul off if you can follow anything. Okay? So like you're spearing with the top of your head? Like yes. Like exactly. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. One more, one more time. Could you just let us see your stance work, the way you did your hip again? Okay. He's got a good load, but then it gets here, resisted. I step back. Hmm. See the lateral triangle? See what I'm doing? I up, oh, boom. And I just step up, see? And you follow up with it. See? Here. Look. See? And you follow up. I go to do this move. He resists, but I come into here. I come up like this. See what I did? I come right up with the elbow. Of course, you know, uh, now what I do is I take my forearm. I'm going to land it here. So what I'm doing is I come up. He resists. I come up with the elbow. Look what I did at the same time. Now I come down here. But this is a push. See where I am right here? You know, I'm not going to give you that one. I'm going to uh, do this one. I think this will be better. Okay. So I come up here, and I come down, and I come up here. I take this, and I stick this in here. See? Look what I got here. Mm. See what's going on? This. Mm. See what I'm doing there? That's going to make him shit, piss, puke, everything, man. You know? So it's going to be. With his wrist locked up, too. Boom, I come up. I just go like this. This is how I get this down. And this is a shot on the head like this, see? I basically come down here, knee. Now, look, ah, we'll go to the same thing. We'll stick with that. If I show you too much, you know, see? This way you got the same thing, okay? So it's very simple here. So we're in hoopa. If you want to practice it off of hoopa, see what I'm doing here. I go here, he resists, ah, I come up, I come down here, look, here. I branch up, so I had to go put my hip over. See? What do you think? Okay, let's try. Everybody understand what I showed I show here? If you notice in, in my seminars, the way I teach, I, I keep it at a basic theme so you remember what's going on. So if you notice, um, you know, I, I had the uh, initial entry with Hubud, um, and then, um, you know, but the Hubud entry, using it to bridge the gap, okay? And then pretty much we ended with branch down. Pretty much. Some of these ended up in branch up, which is the same principle, you know. Um, so, uh, any, any, uh, no questions on this at all, right? Did you like it? It's kind of yeah, amazing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.